right, well, we're here at Cincy AI Week with Kevin Jackson from Level 6 Cybersecurity. Welcome, and tell us a little bit about who you are, what you and your company do. So I'm a, a longtime cybersecurity consultant uh, and advisor for most of the last 30 plus years, uh, from before even it was called cybersecurity. Um, but most recently, this past few years, I have founded and I'm growing a cybersecurity company right here in Cincinnati um, that is using AI and machine learning to help solve the problems that I struggled with for years uh, as a cybersecurity leader myself in industry. Okay. What's something that as a child you felt was true that still motivates you today? Hmm. The idea that science and technology are almost always underused or misused to solve problems. Uh, that's what led me to be an entrepreneur. That, that led me into the world of starting my own business uh, to try to solve problems quicker, better than before. Uh, because even as, and I always wanted to be an engineer when I was a kid, I'm an electrical engineer by degree now. And the idea that there are better ways to use science and technology to solve problems, um, even as we already have many of them in the world, I always wanted to be able to do more and to do it in a more focused way. So that's what led me to, to kind of where I am now. Okay, if AI didn't exist, how would you make your voice heard? Mm. Probably through relationships, through people. Um, one of the things I've always tried to do is be just as much focused on relationships and people and how we interact as humans as on the technology side. Um, having both involved all the time, engaged all the time, is something we try to focus on in our product, in how we market, and in how I've operated before I was an entrepreneur, just as a cybersecurity practitioner. Uh, remembering the people side is always important. And what are some ways that AI is revolutionizing your industry? So many ways. Uh, cybersecurity is now, it's, it's only a bigger and bigger problem every day. Everyone sees the headlines all the time. The question is, why is it never getting better? Why is cybersecurity, why are the risks only getting worse? And the answer is because the bad guys are using these new techniques, new technologies. They're using AI, they're using machine learning just as much as we are on the defensive side, but they have less controls. They have less a burden of having to uh, properly use these tools because they're simply out for profit uh, or to make statements. So it's everywhere. So we're, we are unfortunately always chasing what the bad guys are doing and in, with AI, with machine learning, with technology. And that's one of the reasons I was so excited to start Level 6 because we are using it to try to flip that script, to advance just as fast or maybe even faster in a predictive sense of what the bad guys are doing. So it's it's literally everywhere. Uh, every aspect of cybersecurity now has some type of data analytics or machine learning in it. And the challenge is to keep up and to move forward and try to get ahead of the, the bad actors for a change. So what's your honest take on AI? Is it a tool? Is it a threat? Is it something different? It's all the above. Okay. Uh, it's a tool. It's a threat. It is, it's not, we're soon going to get to the point where it's no longer the topic because it's going to be ubiquitous that AI is embedded in technology, that it's one and the same. So it's gonna become what can, what are we doing with all of that embedded technology, all that embedded learning, all of those results, how can we adapt and move beyond into what's coming next? With, I think in a few years, we won't talk about AI as much because as a term, it's already everywhere. We're gonna then be talking about what the capabilities are that AI can do. And that's what we're trying to do. And I think in every industry that they're trying to do now is get into what's next and develop those answers now, hopefully before the bad actors can. Again, in the cybersecurity space, it's a war. It's, it's a battle against what the, the people who want to destroy and tear down and steal what they are doing so that we can at least keep up if not get ahead. Okay, and so what human qualities do you think AI can't replace? Ooh, now that's a good question. Um, many human qualities AI can't replace. AI can synthetically be emotional and it can, within its bounds, be imaginative. And that was one of the topics yesterday morning at the opening keynote was imagination. You know, that it's, we're entering the age of imagination more so than um, AI. Uh, one of the speakers mentioned that. But that's where I think uh, human ingenuity can't be replaced because imagination to create AI in the first place comes from humans. And to think beyond what the data says, AI can simulate that, but it doesn't do it yet quite as well as any human can. And imagining what's beyond what the data says, where we could go, what we could do. Um, so that will change because humans were constantly adding to what algorithms can do and how they process. 
So we are going to be in that in the, in the process of trying to make AI do more and more imaginative things over time, but it's still going to be, I think, bounded by what we can allow and feed algorithmically into an AI to do. So it's imagination, it's it's the crea true creativity. That's, I think, where we're still going to be light years ahead of what AI is for the foreseeable future. The question is, can we develop AIs that are powerful enough that they can um, synthesize and appear as imaginative and as creative as we are um, and not be limited by their data sets? That's, that's the big question. Okay, and what advice would you give to someone that feels like they're losing their voice in the mess of AI? <laughs> um, that's a really good question. I think the answer would be to get even more involved is to embrace those technologies, not to run from them and not to fear them, but to embrace them and push even deeper into them. Um, and there's always headlines about AI is going to replace your job. AI is going to replace this industry. Um, and, you know, and that's in cybersecurity too. There is always this thought that eventually AI tools will make it so you don't need to have people in cybersecurity. Um, my answer to that is, is what we're doing. Let's go even further into it. Let's embrace it more and let's take our our voice into what AI is going to be and what it's doing so that as it evolves, we're embedded in it uh, as opposed to being afraid of it and withdrawing and saying, well, I've got to go work in another industry. No, I think it's the opposite. I think we have to dig deeper into AI and machine learning so that we are an intrinsic part. The humanity is an intrinsic part of how artificial intelligence evolves. Okay. And who do you see getting it right when it comes to blending those human components with these AI tools? So I, I don't see enough of it yet, I think is the issue. Um, the technology is advancing faster than we are, than I don't know, in any given industry, than I see people embracing it. Um, and that I think has to change. That's why I'm so glad we have this conference. And while there's organizations that drive people to dig in further, because right now I think the technologies themselves are moving faster than the humans are that can take advantage of it and use it. So we, we need to keep moving and adapting fast so that in each industry, and cybersecurity is a great example, so that we are on top of what's happening and we see where it's going and we can adapt and evolve with it. Otherwise, especially when it comes to the fact that adver adversaries can use these tech, not these technologies, can use this tech. Otherwise, we're in a really bad place because then we're in an imbalanced situation where all of those developments that are happening as AI evolves, we may not even be aware of them. You know, we are a, a, a lagging indicator of what's happening in the real world, and that's not where we want to be. Okay. Tell us what's your personal superpower, that thing that AI cannot replace. <laughs> that's interesting. AI can simulate enthusiasm and energy and passion, but is it, how authentic is it? You know, I've been told before, but my superpower is enthusiasm, is, is energy towards a goal. Um, and that's why I've, I've survived so far as a startup founder, which is an incredibly difficult thing to do, right? To so start a tech company is is always hard. And here in the Midwest, it's, it's even harder. Um, but can you, can an AI really be enthusiastic? Can an AI be energetic and powerful and motivated and passionate? I think it's a synthetic energy and a synthetic passion you get out of a, of a chatbot, of an LLM. Um, and that's going to be bounded by exactly how it's programmed, whatever the parameters are, whatever the limits are, just like you see in movies where, you know, uh, artificial intelligence tries to emulate emotion, but struggles to. Um, so I think that's a superpower that every human already has that AI is going to always, at least for the time being, be very limited in. And it has, it's going to struggle to emulate because it's, it's a simulation if you're doing it in software. Whereas in the human mind, emotion is natural, is automatic. The creativity, the imagination, passion, energy, all that is natural to a person who becomes passionate about something. So I think that's probably, you know, that's a universal superpower that I think every person has that AI is always gonna struggle with. Well, thank you for taking time out of Sincere Week to share it with us. Oh, happy to be here, thanks.